warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. My dear respected learners and viewers, today I'm going to show you one of the very important, very virtuous and short surah which is called Suratul Ikhlas. In this episode, I will show you how to recite this Suratul Ikhlas correctly with Tajweed inshallah. I will show you the pictures so that you can easily understand where the letters exactly pronounced from. My dear learners and viewers, before I start, I'd like to share you some of the very important hadith which I found in Sahih al-Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmizi, Sunan al-Darimi and Tafsir ibn Kathir. I am very fascinated by all of the ahadith which is mentioned regarding this Surah Al-Ikhlas. After reading this hadith, we can understand how important, how virtuous the Surah, the Surah Al-Ikhlas. It is stated in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim, narrated from Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, Ba'asa rajulan ala sariyatin. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appointed a man in charge of army unit. Yaqra'u li ashabihi fi salatihim bi yakhtimu qul huwa allahu ahad. This person lead their prayers. In his prayers, he always concluded his recitation with Surah Al-Ikhlas. When they came back to Medina, they stated the situation to the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Why not ask him why he did that? Li ayyi shay'in yasna'u dhalika. When they asked him why he always concluded his recitation with Surah Al-Ikhlas, he replied, Li annaha sifatul rahman. In this Surah Al-Ikhlas contain attribution of Allah the Gracious. Because of that reason, I love to recite this Surah in my prayers. فَأَنَا أَحِبُّ أَنْ أَقْرَأَ بِهَا I love to recite this Surah in my prayers because of that reason. After understanding his intention, Bilal Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, أَخْبِرُهُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّهُ Tell him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. Subhanallah. My dear viewers, we can understand from this hadith, one of the sahabi, he loves this surah al-ikhlas so much because of attributions of Allah. He loves so much that he used to conclude his prayers with surah al-ikhlas. Subhanallah. Because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. So we can understand from this hadith the importance of Surah Al-Ikhlas. Let me tell you another hadith which is also mentioned in Sahih Al-Muslim. Bilal Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhu Aya'ajizu ahadukum an yaqra'a fi laylatin thulus al-Qur'an? Is anyone of you incapable of reciting one third of Holy Quran in a night? Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum replied, Kaifa yaqra'u thulus al-Quran? How can we recite one third of the Quran in a night, Ya Rasulullah? Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Qul huwa Allahu ahadun ta'adilu thulus al-Quran. Surah al-Ikhlas is equivalent to one third of the Holy Quran. Subhanallah, my dear respected viewers, my dear respected learners, from this hadith we can understand the Surah Al-Ikhlas is one third of the Holy Quran, Subhanallah. If anyone recites Surah Al-Ikhlas one time, their reward will be equivalent to reciting one third of the Holy Quran, Subhanallah. If anyone recites three times, Surah Al-Ikhlas, that reward will be complete one khatam of Holy Quran. Let me tell you another hadith, which is mentioned in Sunan al-Darimi. Very authentic hadith. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qara'a qul huwa allahu ahadun ashara marratin banallahu lahu qasran fil jannah. Whoever recites Surah Al-Ikhlas ten times, only ten times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build a house for him in paradise. وَمَنْ قَرَاءَهَا 
Aishirina marratan panallahu lahu qasrayn fil jannah Whoever recite this suratul ikhlas 20 times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build two houses for him in paradise Wa man qara'aha salasina marratan bana lahu salasata qusurin fil jannah Whoever recite this suratul ikhlas 30 times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build three houses in paradise for him subhanallah if anyone recite only 10 times or 20 times or 30 times allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made houses in paradise subhanallah so easy to build houses in paradise only reciting suratul ikhlas after listening this hadith umar ibn al-khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ask ya rasulallah if we recite more and more what happened? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah will have more. Allah will make more houses in paradise. Subhanallah. My dear viewers and learners, we can understand from this hadith how easily we can build houses in paradise. Very easily. Suratul Ikhlas, very short surah. We can easily recite 10, 20, 30 times. Within 5-10 minutes, we can do it very easily. Now let me tell you another hadith from a lot of the ahadith, which is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, narrated from Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. إِذَا أَوَيْ إِلَىٰ فِرَاشِهِ كُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ Beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to go to bed every night, جَمَعَ كَفَّيْهِ ثُمَّ نَفَسَ فِيهِ Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, put his hand together and blow over it after reciting Suratul Ikhlas, Suratul Falak and Suratul Nas. And then he used to rub his body as much as possible. He started rubbing his hands from head, then face, then front side of the body. Yaf'alu dhalika salasa marratin. Prophet of Allah he used to do it three times in every night. It is stated in another hadith which is mentioned in Sunanu Abu Dawood and Tirmizi, narrated from Abdullah ibn Khubayd radiallahu anhu. He said, Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instruct him to recite Suratul Ikhlas and Mu'awwidatayn. What is the Mu'awwidatayn? Mu'awwidatayn means protection from Allah which is Two surah, Suratul Falaq and Suratul Nas. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instruct him to read Suratul Ikhlas and Suratul Falaq and Nas every morning and evening three times. Whoever does this act in the morning and evening, Prophet of Allah said, Takfika min kulli shayin. It will be enough for everything. My dear learners, my dear viewers, we can understand from all of the ahadith the Suratul Ikhlas is very important surah in, in the Holy Quran. If you want to save ourselves from harms of jinn and insan, we should recite these three surah in the morning and evening or when we go to the bed, we should do it. Because Prophet of Allah, he used to do it and he instruct us to do that. My dear learners and viewers, if you want to learn more, if you want to study all of the ahadiths, if you want to study more about this Suratul Ikhlas, I would ask you please take a look at the Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Inshallah, you will find all of the ahadiths there. My dear learners, I hope you understood how much important, how beneficial, how rewarding the Suratul Ikhlas. I ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to give us all tawfiq to recite this Suratul Ikhlas as much as possible. I seek refuge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from harms of evil eyes of jinn and insan. Now I'm going to show you how to recite this Suratul Ikhlas correctly with Tajweed inshallah. Please listen to me carefully and repeat after me. قل هو الله أحد قل هو الله أحد
قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد الله الصمد in this verse the letter of sad the letter of sad pronounced from tip of the tongue passing sound through top and bottom from two teeth from there three letters pronounced from za sin sad when we pronounce when you pronounce any one of these three letters make sure the sound should be buzzing or whistling sound these three letters is called letter of safir so when we pronounce these letters make sure make it buzzing or whistling sound let's practice these three letters za za zi zu the letter of sin sa si su letter of sad sa si su let's practice it allah samad allah samad lam yalid wa lam yulad lam yalid wa lam yulad ولم يكن له كفوا احد ولم يكن له كفوا احد ما شاء الله you have practiced it nicely well done my dear learners and viewers i hope you understood how to recite this suratul ikhlas perfectly i hope now you understood the benefit and reward of reciting suratul ikhlas there are huge number of hadith has been mentioned regarding this suratul ikhlas it is very rewarding very beneficial very virtuous surah in the holy quran i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all tawfiq to recite this suratul ikhlas as much as possible my dear viewers my dear learners if you find this video helpful and beneficial please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and family may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all jaza